This is CAD resource let's start. SolidWorks has some great tools for trimming and extending sketches. If I'm in a sketch, and you can see when we've got a bunch of different lines. Over here on the screen and a couple, or actually just one circle. Right up here I have the trim entities tool. And directly below that I have the extend entities tool. Let's go ahead and start with that trim entities tool. And right down here, you can see we have different modes this tool operates in. The first one is power trim, which is my favorite and I pretty much use that exclusively. So let's do that one last. I've got the corner trim. I've got the trim away inside, trim away outside, and trim to closest. And you can also do this thing. Called keep trimmed entities as construction geometry. Or I can ignore trimming of construction geometry. So a couple things I can turn, or options I can turn on or off here, which are pretty cool. But let's go ahead and choose that very first one here. Trim to closest, your icon turns into a pair of scissors. And any little segment of line you go over, notice it changes to a slightly red color in the center. If I click on that it's going to trim away to the next closest thing it can find, that's why it's called trim to closest. Same thing over here. If you do something in the middle, it's going to trim away that segment in the center. And it's going to trim it away. Pretty straightforward and easy to use. Let's go ahead and hit the undo command a couple of times here to bring all that back. And let's go ahead and try that trim tool one more time. This time I'm going to say trim away outside. Alright so, what I'm going to do with this tool here is. I'm going to click on a line. Couple of different lines here. And then what I'm going to do, is I'm going to trim. Anything that's on the outside of those lines. Let's see that one more time. So I'm going to choose the trimming tools, right? Or I can do it another way, I can say. Let's go up here. And trim away outside. So I'm going to choose this line and this line. And then I'm a trim away anything that's on the outside. Notice if I hover over there, it's going to trim away everything. That's outside of that line. So there it is, there it is, and there it is, so that's trim away outside. Alright, let's undo that one more time, bring it all back. Trim tool one more time, this time trim away to the inside. Same thing, I'm going to say, this line and this line over here. Are going to be my trimming tools, right? Then if I highlight over one of these lines, you can see it turns red, showing me what's going to happen. I'm going to trim this here, it's going to trim these away. Alright, undo that, undo that again, bring those all back. Trim tool one more time, here we go. Corner trim. Click on this on here, click on that line there, it's going to trim away everything. That's not inside that corner, so, pretty straightforward. Now, one more time, go back over here. Now for my all-time favorite, power trim. Now power trim is a little bit harder to understand how it actually works, but think about you having a little pencil. And right over here I'm going to start my pencil. I'm going to start drawing it. Notice that little gray line. That is following along with my cursor. Well anywhere that little gray line goes, it's going to cut over something. And it's going to trim away to the closest thing it finds. So same thing down here. I'm going to trim, 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 and notice that little line, so you can see the path of what you're trimming away, all right. I can trim over here, back over here, anywhere I want to go. My friendly little line will follow. And if you let go, the trim path goes away, so pretty straightforward, right? Of course you can bring that trim back. I also want to point out that while we're in that trim tool, power trim, right over here, if I go back to that last little red mark, right? If I make a trimming error, if I go back to that, it will bring back that trim. So if I just go back and click over that, that's a cool way to go back. If you made the wrong trim command. And especially if you're trimming a lot of things. If I trim 100 things, and I trimmed the very last one was wrong, you can go back and bring that one back. And so that's the basics for power trim. Also down here is keep trimmed entities. As construction geometry, let's turn that one on. And then try just trimming a few things away. Notice that just changes them to construction geometry. And they're not regular lines anymore. So pretty cool. Alright, the other one I want to point out here. Is if I'm out of the trim tool. Is the extended entities. Click on that one there. Now, extend entities has to have something. To extend up to, that's the main thing. So this line right here, if I go over it, notice the closest thing it sees is this circle. So if I click on that it's going to extend over to there. Now this line over here, it can't extend anywhere. 
because there's nothing in front of it. And so that is the requirement. Right over here, it's going to trim or extend all the way over to here, this one over here extend over to there, this guy's going to extend over here, that guy is going to extend there, over here. And it's going to go and do that extend the feature from the closest edge. So, notice when you're clicking on something, it has to have something in front of it. So let's go ahead and create like one more line. So, here's our line, right? If I go over here to extend on this side, it's going to try to extend, but over here, it won't work. Because, there's nothing on that side, but if I had something on that side, let's try it, make a line over here, go back to the tool, if I go over here, it's going to extend that direction, if I go on that side, it's going to send that direction, depending on which side of this line you happen to be on. It will determine which side will be extended. Anyways both the trim and extend tools are pretty powerful. And they're a great way to take some basic standard geometry. Like circles, rectangles, squares, and lines. And then create exactly what you're looking for. In your sketch, 